Hi, this is another sort of summary uh, picture of change management scenarios. Kind of a good way to sum things up, I think. Uh, in the previous slide, I talked about moving along a, a baseline with sort of within a standard deviation. And then what we do is we try some intervention. Now, if it's a successful intervention, we start to get improvement. Sort of maybe in this case, it's a stair step thing. And the more we do, the better we get, the better we feel, the more we learn. And ideally, uh, we start to be, have a virtuous success cycle of mastery and, and faith that we, we can be an innovator and we just continue to innovate on and on and on. And certainly there are three, four percent of the companies out there, McDonald's and 3M and, and so forth, have been continuous innovators for a long, long time. Uh, of course, we could, we could bungle it. We could jump in the river with both feet. And not instead of doing cheap little experiments, we could not pass the rule of five to seven, one to ten, and get everybody on board, and defuse all the hidden emotional agendas and the political factions and so forth, and it fizzles. And if we fail, then what happens is we go, oh well, we stink, and you know why we can't do anything, and we're doomed, and so forth, and you know something else comes up, and you know it, it, it uh, self-fulfilling prophecy, we start to get into a vicious spiral. And basically, the best answer is to, you know, be an armadillo and roll up in a ball or be a porcupine uh, and just, you know, freeze. And all we can do is what we've always done and cut costs and then get die of a thousand little nicks of changes in the marketplace until we go out of business and hit bottom. So this is all about how do we create this these virtuous cycles of change management mastery uh, and we can do it. Thanks.